Let's go inside. Hello there. Only one Kenobi here, only one. It's been a while since I've talked about Haslab, but I want to. And uh, the time is fast approaching where they're going to reveal what's already kind of like <laughs> supposedly known. What is it, the ghost? That was sort of spoiled or mentioned a while ago, and the guy who mentioned it is never usually wrong. But do we want a ghost? There's other things now I want, and I want to talk to you in this video about my fast rising desire <laughs> to uh, get an Endor Ewok village. And in the process of me talking about that, I will show you uh, my entire Ewok collection there. Come back to that in a minute. So when they sort of talked about the ghost, and I think they did, what is it? Hasbro Pulse had a panel at Celebration and somebody shouted out the ghost. <laughs> And Patrick just sort of uh, didn't swerve that well, in my opinion. He, he, I can't remember how he reacted now. I'd have to find a clip of it, but... A vintage HasLab for the first time in three years. Who's excited? I'll you promise be. you it's not going to launch in December. You're not going to have to wait, you know, seven months. It's going to be sooner than that. But uh, we're excited. We think you guys are going to be as well. It's going to be amazing. So stay tuned because more to come there. All righty. What's that? Uh, I don't know. Um... It's, it's going to be a ghost, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, oh, I must. I did a video on that the other day. I filmed some footage of that. that look at this. This is something new in the collection room, ladies and gentlemen. Speaking of big vehicles, look at that. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll do that in a separate video, but look at that, a new place for my Republic gunship. People talk about things like that, you know, as a HasLab, and they say, oh, ATAP, but you know, these are big ships. This is the updated ATAP from the, what is it, the, the Shadows of the Dark Side line. This is the Legacy Collection Falcon, although, no, it's not, that's the Vintage Collection Falcon. That's the Legacy Falcon, but they are the same mold. Um, you know, we've kind of got these vehicles. They're big, they could be bigger, but they're big and they're done. So, what haven't we got? Well, I always I always talked about wanting a shuttle Tidarium. Yeah, man, a shuttle Tidarium. I thought that would be brilliant. I've done, you know, previous videos on that, looking at the packings you could have with it, you know, like Simbaloo would be awesome or some other Imperial dignitaries. Um, but the, the main argument I always had for having a shuttle Tidarium is the fact that this is the one vehicle from the 80s that's never had the upgrade. It is the same moulds that it's always been a two-man cockpit ain't big enough man even the even the slave one has had a size update this can have four people in the cockpit now i'm talking about the falcon there and even the atat as opposed to the 80s where you could only get two in the cockpit we can get five or more in the cockpit now two pilots and then of course the man in the back there. These are vintage 80s figures I've got in here. <laughs> Not standing up very straight. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I always talked about the Lambda class shuttle being a Haslab. It'd be awesome. But here's an idea that uh, has sort of crept up as the years or oh, the months have gone by. And I don't know if it's something to do with the uh, maybe the 40th anniversary of the Return of the Jedi. It will be that, but also uh, my growing collection of Ewoks in three and three quarter inch scale. So this HasLab thing that I, um, feels a bit pointless doing this video because it seems like 99.9% .9 that it's going to be the ghost. And what do I think of the ghost? Well, I'd love it because I do like the design. I'm not a big fan of Rebels, but like I've said before, I like a good big ship, man. Look at these big ships here. In fact, I've just moved over my um, Razor Crest. I had it over there. I just thought I'd change it round. I used to have my... Uh, 80, what is it again? 80 TE, Tactical Enforcer, in that spot there. And the Razor Crest looked quite nice in that corner there, but I might put it back, but just for now. I was messing around in here the other night and I moved the Razor Crest there. Anyway, whatever, that's just a bit of babble. Um, yeah, love a big, good vehicle. Uh, I, I love a good, big vehicle, and that includes this. I'm so happy that, to own that. And if you don't own that, I am very sorry because. It was difficult to get hold of that, and I was very lucky to acquire it in 2019. But um, yeah, and finally, about the ghost, Macquarie, a big fan of him. Who doesn't love Ralph Macquarie? Maybe a Star Trek fan, but you know his art and his ships, his designs are beautiful. And um, of course, he was responsible for, well, it was the blueprint or the one of the ideas, I believe, for the Falcon. 
So that's what the, uh, the ghost is, unless I've got that completely wrong. But now, moving on to the Ewok village, I do know my good friend Ian Butler 3D, uh, who uses uh, some of the Landspeeder Luke files, shrunken down to three and three quarter inch. A Landspeeder Luke, let's talk about an Ewok village. Check out this artwork here. I mean, how, how phenomenal is that? <laughs> my only issue with Landspeeder Luke is he is a six inch man and it's good for the six inch figure collectors, the fact that they are, you know, wanting, like we do, a dioramas and stuff for their figures. But come on, man, this is the state, this is the scale. This is what you want. Six inch collectors, what are you doing in that game, man? If you want a world build, this is the line for you. <laughs> it is. Look at this, we've got vehicles and we've got dioramas. And God damn it, man, this is, if you're gonna do a good Ewok village, Gotta go, you've got to do it in three and three quarter inch scale. Am I wrong? You're not wrong. And look at all this other good stuff they've given us this year. The bunker, the ATST, uh, we've got the biker scout crew there, and uh, an Endor village. And speaking of Star Tours, I'm sorry I didn't finish. I was waffling on about Star Tours before. Light speed to Endor and all that. Don't forget that the queue, the queue at Hollywood Studios to get on Star Tours is set in the Ewok village, at least it's it's by all those kind of like big tree stumps. So that's all a nostalgic pull for myself. But um, anyway, enough about that. Uh, Haslab, come on, it'd be really good. I'm sure you could do that. I mean, look, look how good land speed of Luke's done it. But enough about that. What I'll do now is show you my entire Ewok collection. God, he just fell over. It would be a really good idea to have it in three and three quarter inch scale, a, a tree, an endor, village just with a few platforms and all these guys could find a home there and you could display them nicely and also without wanting to knock the six inch line you've got a long way to go before you catch up with our stock look at all this stuff we have man let's start off with all i have here we've got log ray brilliant figures they're all great um in the background there this is speaking of land speeder luke and well in butler 3d this is look at this that he sent me a while ago this is Ian Butler 3D's. Look at the beautiful paintwork on that. That is his Yoda hut. Nothing to do with Endor, but it still gives you an idea of how good a piece can be with some living, kind of like, you know, biological elements. You know, the, the plants there. A drill in the background there. Look at that. When I think of Endor, I always think about, like, those model train shops I used to go to as a kid, and you could buy, you know, little model trees and stuff like that, and they were really well done. They looked the part. And, you know, Hasbro could do that as well. They could make all this stuff painted up nicely, get, get, get some um, lovely vegetation elements there. It'd be great. Um, and that's why I've got that there, just to show off some of Ian Butler's amazing, amazing 3D printing and painting. Check his, uh, check his Enterprise out. I'll leave a link to that. And then, of course, you've got the... Uh, you've seen this before in my last series, Best of the 96. This is uh, Chief Chirper, the, the original 80s. And then his modern counterpart, Chief Chirper, again there. Great figure. And then, of course, we've got Tebow, my favourite. My favourite uh, Ewok. Love Tebow. Nutter. And I've got his proper head on now, Daniel Chart. That is... Uh, where is that now? Clitchy, is it? Oh, man, I should have researched these names before I started recording. Very quickly, why, have I, why am I filming these guys? Well, two reasons. They did appear at the end of... Um, um, Return of the Jedi. Uh, this is the look. At, I didn't even realize they articulated. Look at this. This is um, old Anakin, as it should be. Yoda and Obi Wan Kenobi. I want to. I wanted to show you. Look how good the cinema scenes were. Great. You got like a stand or whatever to put these figures on. Just look at that. Brilliant. I could just imagine a whole piece with walkways like that. You know, like a Haslab thing, whatever, connecting them all. Really good. It just gives me that vibe. You know, of Endor. The film and also I think you know when they did it at Disney in the queue you know you really felt it then as well that was full size obviously but um yeah I just think it'd be a really good idea these look quite nice actually with the, the light sun setting behind them yeah man and and yeah this this here right <laughs> actually that looks quite nice behind these this isn't the best detailed thing this came with what the hell did that come with now um yeah it came with this and um Oh, I remember now. It came with the bunker, didn't it? Yeah. Not that bunker. This bunker from Power of the Force 2. And um, look at it. It's not the best. It's got some sculpted detail, but the colour is very, you know, one tone. But actually, behind these, it, 
it worked. That was just a complete accident. I just put it in the background because there was no other space, but because it's so poor looking, these in the foreground take away the um, inadequacies of this. But you know, just to give you an example of a prop I have, which is represented, reflective of you know the terrain of, of Endor. And then we have, of course, Hobo, Hobo Wicket. <laughs> Killing man, he looks a bit ragged there. This guy, got him obviously recently from Tungori. Check my video out for that. Of course, Paplu, this is a great figure actually. I do like this one. It's a nice figure that. Peg holds are very shallow on that one. Speaking of which, these legacy collection -y, uh, Ewoks I got from Tungori, they've got nice deep peg holes, man, including this one. This is Romba and he came with Grack as well. And they've got nice deep peg holes. This is the other head gear for Tebow. This, that's that also came, it got lots of accessories with it, man. That bunker, this, this came with it as well. So I obviously just have this on my Ewok shelves, you know, but that's a nice little prop to have. I know there was another catapult you could get in the TVC, but uh, I don't have that. The background here, this is the other wicket. <laughs> People do say that's quite a good one. It isn't a bad one. Of course, Leia there. Now I thought I'd bring her into this. I was originally just gonna show you my Ewoks, but I thought I'd show you all Ewok village related figures. And this would be an awesome, TVC edition, you know, vintage collection, sort her out, an amazing car back potential as well for whatever you want to call her, forest layer, or, you know, Ewok village layer, that would be a nice one, and, oh man, the hair, this has got some soft goods on it, but the face is diabolical, it's really kind of like a bad Cindy doll or something, man, but, and that's it, so I just wanted to, oh, yeah, and 3PO, um, we talked about 3PO not long ago in my new series, Top to Flop, and a lot of people have agreed it isn't the best. I do like this 3PO, and that's what's good for it in this instance. He he sits in this chair really well because of his articulation. I do like the sculpt, and I like how he looks and everything, but... Trito Dagra, Isoyoto Tambadeh, he's red, right? Whatever they say. What did he say? Hello, I think. <laughs> Whatever. But um, I have him there, ladies and gentlemen. Just wanted to give you a little video, touching base on this HasLab thing. It's so sad, isn't it, really? We know what it's going to be. It's pretty cool. The ghost will be all right and everything, but the mystique is gone. So what about Haslabs going forward? Wouldn't it be nice if they, say, dropped the SDCC, you know, three ideas for a Haslab and we all vote for the best one and then they make that or whatever? Uh, they wouldn't have to waste too much money doing that with, you know, it would cost a lot of money to do a prototype and stuff like that. Maybe if they had a couple of rounds of Haslab, they, they had like a blue sky idea. Someone did some concept art for maybe two different vehicles or one vehicle and one playset. Just a concept art mock-up of what it would be. And then people will vote on that. Then they'll make a prototype. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know. Maybe that would be more complicated. But I just think it's a shame we don't kind of have a choice, really. The only thing we do is videos like this or whatever, where people just speculate and talk about what they want and what they need and blah, blah, blah. But... Um, it's looking like it's going to be the ghost and there's no deviation on that. But wouldn't it be nice if we got something different, like something like that? That would be one place that I'd like. Oh, even the Tidarium shuttle or whatever you want to call it, the Lambda class shuttle. And there's people who talk about the cantina, but yeah, that would also be pretty cool, man. Who, who, who am I kidding? That would be awesome. Anyway, the sun is setting. Just wanted to do that little video to touch base and talk about Haslab. Film my Ewok collection. I think I've got everything there. Please excuse the drill. I was, uh, what was I drilling the other day? Oh yes, I was getting that secured in and I'm gonna feature that in a video soon as well. That's pretty cool in flight there. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. This has been Only One Kenobi. <laughs> Only One. Out.